Imagine feeling weak, nauseous, and dizzy all day, and then sleeping for 10 hours a night, but then waking up feeling that you have not slept for a week. That is how you feel if, like me, you suffered from a condition called mononucleosis. For a time, I was dangerously ill. Two years on, I was still on medication. But it was this same life-threatening experience that took me down the food research rabbit hole that changed my life. And here, I must say thank you to Apollo, my pet iguana lizard, for providing me the catalyst to my breakthrough. My iguana needed a super healthy intake of expensive leafy green vegetables, and I needed to grow them myself. Searching online, I saw the phrase that changed everything for me, nutrient-dense foods. To grow them, I would need soil-enriching products and an understanding of how nutrition is linked to the ground in which food grows. I changed my own diet to one that was plant-based and nutrient-dense. And after just one week, I felt the most energized I had ever been in my life. I knew I was onto something much bigger than me and my iguana. <laughs> Chronic non-communicable diseases are responsible for 80% of deaths in the Caribbean. Hypertension, cancer, and respiratory illnesses are harming our friends, our families, and worst of all, our children. They are caused in part by the fact that 95% of products used to grow our foods are toxic synthetic chemicals that rob our soils of nutrients and pollute our seas. These dangerous substances are suffocating our environment and ourselves at the same time. That is why I founded my startup, Red Diamond Compost Inc. We create the cleanest and greenest agrochemical solutions designed to support the fragile organisms responsible for building soil structure, storing organic soil carbon, and protecting pollinating insects. All our products are made from organic waste and regenerative sources. We create an agricultural biostimulant from the notoriously prolific sargassum seaweed 20 million tons of which land on Caribbean coastlines every year. Our cultivation of Tythonia, a beautiful wildflower, often known as the tree marigold, allows us to produce a commercially viable organic fertilizer. We operate a zero waste process that sees our byproducts incorporated into our slow aged composting. Farmers and home gardeners are crying out for more education around organic, regenerative, and climate smart farming practices. So we teach them to work with nature to produce more food in a clean, healthy, and profitable environment. On our Living Soils course, they learn to master living soil ecosystems and optimize plant nutrition. Through our interventions in the last seven years, we have been able to positively impact the lives of 5,000 people in my native Barbados and neighboring Caribbean islands. When our backyard biotech products were tested in trials against internationally acclaimed products, they were shown to be just as good so we decided to go even further and launch our Journey to 1,000 Acres initiative. The idea was to convert 1,000 acres of conventionally farmed land in Barbados into regenerative organic cultivation. We provide farmers with a blend of underground and digital training, including a free sustainable input starter package. We are already on track to transition 300 acres by the end of this year. We, we are literally revitalizing our land. We have already had requests to take our 1,000 acres initiative to neighboring Caribbean islands and even as far as Cameroon in Africa. 
One young world, I learned my lessons from dealing with my acute illness and feeding a fussy iguana. I can tell you we will never stop a hunger emergency by putting food grown with toxic chemicals on the dinner table. The only path to tackling the global food crisis is by bringing new life and new vitality to our soils across the globe. Please come with me on that journey. Thank you.